Hi, sports fans. Welcome to JTV Sports. I am Paul on the ball. Let's have a look at the feature race of the day, the second race of the Triple Crown at the Randall James Racetrack. We're good to go. Waiting on the break. Get bus and they're running. Good break for everyone. On the extreme outside, that is political reporter. Chasing with Willie uptown as they come down the lane and into the main track. Political reporter has a head in front. Really uptown is right there running in second position, a half length out of it. Right now, your early leader is political reporter. The last lawyer for the first time when he leaves nothing. Really uptown now takes the lead by a half a length. As they enter the clubhouse turn, that is really uptown leading the way. That Mufasa was running in third position in alongside the rail. They ran the opening quarter in 22. Gato Paso now starts to start really uptown. Slevin moves into third position. Political reporter drops the floor. They ran it in 44 and 4. Sweet sight now starting to move. So is good prospecting. The gap is approximately 7 and a little bit from front to back. Really uptown leads by two lengths. Slevin is stalking in second position. Gato Paso in alongside the rail. They are running, running well on the outside for some reason. Really uptown and Slevin running way wide. Gato Paso in alongside the rail. They got it in 109 and 2. It is really uptown. Opening up the three. Slevin is being asked to run. Really uptown and cruising with two four laps to go. It is still really uptown at the top of the turn. Really uptown is on the move. And then the stretch they come. They might have to buy an engine from next door. But one more run to go. Jet Blue is clear for takeoff. Really up town has destroyed the field again. Really up town by seven. Go prospecting. Seven. Rocco Paso. Sweet side. Political reporter and a new track record for really uptown. We spoke with the owner of really uptown, Miss Letty Hodge, about the win. Tell us first of all about uh, about how you saw the race uh, in, in Saint Croix on Sunday. Well, um, it ended up like how I expected, first of all, and um, I did. He when he just turned off, and from the time he was he got in front of um, political reporter. I knew it was over. Letty, last year, Radio Town had an injury. We were all concerned. He came out in December, one, five, six horse lengths, and from then he's just winning seven, eight, ten horse lengths. What, what, what's really happening with his horse? Well, like how some of the horsemen will say, um, we, we find him, he not, he's at his peak right now, you know. So it was just a matter of time working with the trainer and he finding him out. And what we got him now? Looking at the, the Virgin Islands, what does this mean to us here in the British Virgin Islands to have a horse that fast and one more race and he'll be the first ever horse uh, to have won the Triple Crown in the Virgin Islands? Oh, that should, that should make us very proud. Um, that was one of my goals and especially when I saw him running as good as he did, um, I decided, yeah, let's go for the Triple Crown. And um, so far we're doing too good. We got two crowns. We need one more to go. For JTV Sports, I am Paul on the ball. It will be a great sport.